Hello everyone, my name's Kermit, welcome back to the channel. And as you can see behind me, things have changed just a little bit since the last kind of studio set design building or video thing. So this is going to be kind of a next progress video. I'm going to try to do this as much as I can. As you guys can see, the matrix puzzle is up. If you guys are wondering how I did that, basically I did the puzzle, put duct tape down behind it, I think in two layers. I can't remember if I did columns and then I did side to side or if I did side to side and then columns or if I just did one of the two. Um, and then basically it's got three across the top, three in the middle and three across the bottom of duct tape that's been basically folded over itself and slapped on and then pressed against the wall to hopefully give it a good hold for now. It's not what I want to do with it in the future. Obviously when it's the future and I have a better way of doing this, I'm going to figure out some way to keep that up. Uh, that's going to be nice, maybe a picture frame or something like that. I just currently don't have a picture frame big enough to put that in. Um, but yeah, so we have also, I have also, sorry, not we, but I have also gotten every last thing. This is all 44 of my crates. It's not everything from all of them. There's a few things that I decided to leave in there. Um, none of the cup stuff, like all the food stuff that I did get out, I only got a few cups out, is upstairs. Um, any posters and such are in there. All the pins and stuff are in there. There's some random crap in these three that I have no idea what I want to do with, but I do know I want in some way to have them kind of in the studio. Um, so yeah. Uh, but I figured I'd give you guys dimensions real quick because I'm sure some of you are probably wondering just how big the space is actually going to be and how much space I actually have. So this way, going um, across that wall right there with the boxes on it is 122.4 inches. That is the width of this sort of area. I guess I could have technically done either of them as the width, but I chose to do this side as the width because I'm looking at it as I'm going to be facing this way most of the time and typically you do the width as the way you're going to be facing and the length as the way that's going to be parallel to you. So whichever one's perpendicular to you, it's a good tip for you for anyone who's building something or designing something. The one that's perpendicular to you is the one you want to do as the width and the one that's going to be running parallel to you is typically the one you want to do as the length. Now this varies depending on the way you're designing something, but again, it's your choice how you're going to do it. But for me, it was personally of, I'm going to be spacing this way most of the time, I decided to do that one as the width, and I'm going to be having this side to the side of me most of the time, so I decided to do that one as the length. Uh, it is 118.8 inches this way. Um, and for those of you who've done anything with woodworking shop class type shit, you know exactly what I'm talking in inches because it's a lot easier to measure it in inches, which I kind of forgot. And then when I came back, I was like, I was like, fuck, I should have measured this in inches. I'm an idiot. Luckily, my phone, can, I used my phone to convert so I didn't have to go through the long process of dragging out my fucking tape measure, rechecking what they were and going along those lines. I was able to just use my phone to convert it, which sadly wasn't an option back in the day. When I was in shop class in eighth grade, that was not an option. It was... You're stuck doing a bunch of math to convert anything. So if you measure something in feet, you're converting that fucker from feet to inches, which is a pain in the ass. Typically, so you typically try to remember, measure the fucker in inches and get it done with. Um, and it's because inches are just easier to work with. Most things are already measured out in inches. So if you don't have to go from feet to inches at all, it's a little bit of a helper. And it is 84 inches tall. Now that is without this part accounted for, without the uh, two vent parts. That's just from I think that's from top to bottom, from, from the bottom to the top up there, um, I think is what I ended up doing right against that wall. I did it. So at the tallest, it's 84 inches. It's, uh, good news is with doing height, you can just kind of step on the thing and just drag it up. Um, the tallest part of the vent is about 79 inches, give or take. And again, this is rough estimate, so it's about where I'm gonna try to put everything is where I'm kind of estimating this sort of stuff at. So, yeah. I found out that these bookshelves, which are 29.6 inches long, if I really want to, I can do four of these against this this wall here where the first one's currently at. Um, I can do four of those if I really want to with about a 3.6 inch gap on the end. Um, I might try to do that to where they're spaced out just a little bit, like, um, I'll do one, 1 1.2 there, 1.2 there, and 1.2 there. Basically a 1.2 inch gap between all three of them, uh, between the other three that would be added on. Um, the big issue with that, even though this does, I think this is in front of the, the little post over here, is making sure that they're not against the post or they're not gonna be covered by the post, 
or in any way messed with by the post because if that's the case obviously I can only put three in um, I think I might just put three in just to kind of have it be three because I don't think I'm gonna need four but again if I kind of end up realizing okay I need a fourth one I will buy a fourth one and place it in the same spot the same sort of area or maybe place it somewhere else I'm not entirely sure yet um, again this thing's gonna change a lot I think this is I think this is recording area update like four I believe that I've done I think this is like the fourth time I've updated the loot shelf by itself and uh, this is the first time I'm updating the whole area of where I'm recording although I did change I was originally over in that corner of my my uh, basement over that way um, and then I changed it over here because it had better lighting um what else uh that is about that's like 71 and a half inches tall which is pretty tall um, but luckily again it fits under it fits under the highest point of the entire room and it will still fit under what I believe is the shortest part of the fence. Let me see what the shortest part of the fence is. Real quick. Just to make sure my fucking bookcase is actually fit under this. Oh yeah. They'll still fit under that. That's about 76 inches. So they'll have about four, five and a half. No, four and a half, sorry. Four and a half inches of space, still the clear between those two, so it shouldn't be too hard. The other thing that's gonna be difficult is moving it later on, because it's gonna be difficult to get my hands up there, so I'm gonna have to try to move it from the sides and then, because they have a little strap on top that you're supposed to use to help move you, to help you move it. I didn't use it when I was moving it from there to there, or when I turned it or anything like that, I just kind of grabbed the sides and turned it, it made it a little bit easier. Um, so the initial desk I was going to get, I'm not gonna get because so the desk was really small. Um, the actual parts where my computer monitor would be going were only 21 inches long, which I didn't really like that being the length. And I could technically buy two of those, which is like $99.99, uh, and have a 42 inch long section, two 21 inch long sections, and then the two corner sections. The reason I'm not gonna do that is because I really don't feel like spending $198 I'm gonna check out what I do there. That's right. Eh, about 198, 199, 200-ish dollars just for a desk. So instead, I'm gonna be getting a desk that is at the longest, which will be, I believe, this side, going this way, uh, 39 and a quarter inches. The triangle little corner piece is 19 and 34 on each, with a 27 inch uh, across its widest section, which I don't exactly know that what they're meaning by that so I'm gonna have to figure that out when I get the desk which this desk is about 10 bucks cheaper too so I'm saving a little bit of money and then the shorter side which will be running along this way um, is 35 and a quarter inch which is very nice it's gonna be a nice desk um, that is the one with the keyboard though the smaller ones are the one with the keyboard which kind of pisses me off um, which kind of means I have to figure something out and figure out what I'm gonna do with that um, so that gives me I marked this out earlier. It gives me to about like there with that piece, something like that. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that yet. I might, I don't know. I gotta figure that out. Cause I gotta figure out if I wanna do it that way or not. I, like I'm, the thing I'm stuck on is, do I wanna have it to where I have the longer section, which would be the better one to put the computer on facing that way? Or can I maybe find a way to have it facing this way, but not have, but still have it in that corner, which is what I'm hoping I can do. So if I can do that, then I'll put it in that corner for the longer section. No, because then it's got to be, it's got to be going this way. I don't know. I gotta figure something out. I gotta figure something out, which it's probably gonna be the longer section this way and that that way, um, and then just kind of using the keyboard tray and stuff the way I want it to, which kind of pisses me off. But it means that that whole section can be my laptop, my camera stuff, all that. Um, which should hopefully make it a little bit easier. Um, and then, basically, I'm not doing anything to the ceiling. I'm not gonna put any acoustic on the ceiling, mostly because there's not really an easy way I can do it. Um, the only way I can think of doing it is getting like big acoustic blankets, which I'd have to cut a hole out for the, uh, the light up here, um, and just draping them up, you know, setting them up, and then screwing them into the banister which I don't know if I can actually technically do. I think that'd break my lease and I could get kicked out of my place. So, we're not gonna have anything on the top. Uh, on the bottom, we're gonna have carpets running lengthwise, running this way, or yeah, lengthwise. We're gonna have them running lengthwise, I think, if I can find um, the carpets that'll fit this. Uh, I'm hoping I can get as little as possible to put down here. 
um, and they'll fit perfectly. If I really have to, I think I'll get squares, like just go to like Home Depot or Lowe's or something and buy carpet squares, set them down repeatedly in this area, and then just have those work as my rug sort of situation, just use double sided tape to keep them down, um, and then kind of tape a few sections, you know, tape them together like four sections at a time or some shit like that, you know, together, like have just a, basically just have a cross of tape between four panels to hold them together and then I can just take it apart as four panels instead of just taking it apart one by one and then double sided tape um, to hold them all to the ground. Which is my goal, is use double sided tape to hold them to the ground. Um, what else? And then we're gonna have acoustic panels using double sided tape, which is not the best, which is arguably not the best option, but I'm gonna use double sided tape to hold the acoustic panels across this area. I'm gonna do it in a weird kind of pattern. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but I'm kind of just gonna go around with some acoustic panels, get it done, and then boom. Um, and then the reason I'm thinking about not putting four over here is because I kind of want to get something to put posters on. So if you guys know any real things that I can kind of put some poster board on, um, whether it be like a um, pegboard style thing or something along those lines, um, then let me know. Uh, so where, what's, some, what's the word I'm looking for? I had something like it, which is what all my pins went into. I need something like this for the pins too. I'm going to put all the loot crate pins and other pins I have um, into it. And for those of you wondering how many loot, cr loot crate pins, I'm going to do it by month. And then I'm going to do it by, if there's a crate that had another pin in it, I'm going to also do that pin after. So for my first one, which is Villains 2 in August 2015, I'll have the August 2015 button because it wasn't a, it was a pin. It wasn't a pin back then. It was a button. The Hydra pin that came with that and the October 2015 crate, the November, December, January 2016, so on and so forth until basically every pin slash button is up there. Um, I'm going to also put the Bumblebee pins, you know, all the pins that came in loot crates, like I mentioned, uh, I have a Mockingjay pin as well um, up there. And then in November 2018, I'm going to put, after the November 2018, I'm going to put the six uh, Bullet Club buttons that I bought from Hot Topic up on that, and then it's gonna go into December of 2018. Uh, the reason I'm doing that, and I know I could keep those off there, personally I don't want to. I like I like the fact that I have more buttons that I can put on the, on the board. Um, and just kind of have it all around just sitting there and stuff. And I think it's going to be really cool. Um, so yeah, that's maybe why I'm thinking about doing that. If I don't do that, it's going to go against that wall there. Probably held up with command hooks or something. I'm also going to be buying command hooks to hang up a bunch of stuff. So the acoustic panel is not going to be all over the walls. It's just going to be in a few spots to hopefully cut down on how much my voice echoes while I'm down here. It's not a bad echo, mostly because it's kind of a tight knit space. Um, and it's gonna get even smaller when I, you know, wrap the things around. Um, but it helps me at the very least of having something around here. I'm not sure if I want to do... So I was initially thinking about getting like closet sort of things. They're basically like rolling spots to hang clothes on. They're kind of like rolling closet pole things to hang clothes on. I'm wondering if that's still what I want to do because I could potentially, and think about this, but I'm trying to think of the way I would do this. If I really want to, I could do shower um, rods, like the rods that you have your curtains hang off of in the shower. But then I was like, wait, how would I do that going either of these ways? Because there's nothing for me to support that on except for that pole. I can't really support it on that pole. So now I kind of realize, okay, I have, I can't do that even if I really want to. So it's going to have to be something that, and I also want to make sure I can move it so that way I can kind of, because this is going to be this way, the one behind you guys is going to be how I get in. I'm going to just kind of move the things, walk in and move them back. Is basically my plan to get in. Um, trying to think more to say, like I'm trying to think what else to say. Uh, for the most part, when you guys see these types of videos with my face, it will be facing this way. So the camera will be facing like this. Um, so the way you guys are currently facing is not the permanent thing. Um, it will probably be set up on the desk and then hopefully focused on the loot shelves as much as I can have it be. Um, Uh, command hooks are gonna hang anything that can be hung. So, not posters, obviously, but like uh, the keychains and stuff that I've gotten in loot crates, that's probably gonna be hung on command hooks. I might bring some, uh, some jewelry type stuff down here and hang it up on there as well. I don't entirely know. Um, anything that could potentially get hung, my machete and my knife are probably gonna be hung on command hooks as well. Uh, let's see. There's gonna be a mini fridge down here, just so I have something, so if I'm streaming or if I'm recording or something, I need a drink, I don't have to run 
all the way back upstairs, run all the way back down. It's gonna be set somewhere near to the desk, um, and then I'm just gonna basically have the mini fridge, so that way, hey, I'm thirsty, grab it out and take a drink. That, however, will not be on carpet. That will be one of the only spots where carpet does not go, or where a rug, if I get, a, if I get rugs, it will be fine there, but if I get carpet, I'd rather have the mini fridge sitting on the, the concrete instead. Um, I'm not entirely sure yet what I want to do with the, the mini fridge when I get it, um, but it's most likely probably going to go direct on concrete, and I'm just going to do the carpet around it and hopefully make sure that I make sure there's enough space for the door to open. That might be the only reason I decide to put it on the carpet is if I have an issue with opening it itself beforehand. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping I find rugs that are long enough to fit this. It's only going to be a hundred. Or it's only gonna be 118 inches, somewhere around there, um, which shouldn't be too bad. I hopefully won't need a lot. If I can find a really wide one, I'd be very happy. Like if I can find one that like covers like a good portion of this and just get two of those, I'm fine. Um, I'm just that's what I'm hoping. Because I'm hoping I find just a big enough rug. Like if I can find just one giant rug that spans this whole area, which I'm sure I could custom order one if I really wanted to, but I'm gonna try to avoid doing that because those are typically really fucking expensive. Um, but if I can find something that's gonna fit this area, I'll be very happy. Uh, for the most part, the rug is only going to cover this stuff. It's not going to be... I'm, my plan is I don't want those placed on it, the, sh the bookshelves. I want those placed on the concrete still. So what I'm probably going to do is measure the distance between that wall, right there, right, right there, and the bookshelf, and figure out exactly how much that's going to be, and that's what I'm going to plan the rugs, are, the rugs around is that distance. And then once I get like, cause the rugs are gonna be one of the last things I buy. I'm not gonna buy, I'm not gonna focus on those just yet. Um, but once I get like the wall stuff in, then I'll measure that and figure out how much I'm gonna need that to be. Um, and then hopefully what I can do is I can find a rug that's gonna be the length that I need it to be. And then also be kind of wide so I can get a few of them in here and hopefully have them all in one sort of section being done. Um, and that way they won't take too many. Um, I'm hoping for like five or six that can fit into this very easily, which looks like depending on the width of the rugs is probably what I'm gonna need, which isn't too bad. Uh, and then yeah, it will also reduce sound when I'm rolling on chair, on the chair and stuff, so that, that will help. Uh, what else? Uh, I will be getting a desk fan. The reason I'm gonna be getting a desk fan is so that way I can be cooled off down here because while it may not get too bad during the summer, or during the winter, it's gonna be fucking hot as hell down here during the summer. I know because I've done enough, I've been down here enough in the summers and stuff to know how hot it gets down here. Um, so I will be having a small desk fan. It's not gonna be too, anything too serious. It's not gonna be like my big, my big fan upstairs where it's fucking loud as hell when I record it, which actually it's gotten quieter now. And I don't know why, I gotta figure that out. It might be breaking just a little bit because it takes a lot of abuse because it falls a lot. Um, I might get a big fan like that eventually, but at the moment I have no plans to because I don't want anything too big down here. Uh, I'm gonna be getting splitters, one for behind there for lighting um, up the shelves, which hopefully I can figure out some way to do that very easily. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I was thinking magnetized lights, as magnet onto there and then they shine down. But then I realized these are vents that have my heat go through them uh, and that might not be a good idea to have my lights on those. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, maybe I won't do that. Um, but I do want the, these lit in some way, shape or form. So that way I do have the ability to light them up, um, for, you know, for the video purposes. So that way they're a little bit brighter. Um, I am planning to get at least one light that's going to be going on the desk. That's going to be facing toward me or maybe hanging on the wall. I'm not entirely sure yet, but some, some form of light that's going to be facing me. So that way, hopefully in these videos, I look a bit more lit up and it's less, you know, one sided like it is now. I look like fucking two face over here. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will help, and that might shine on those pretty well, to be honest. We, who knows? Um, if not, I'll figure out some sort of lighting system for them. I can always also, if I really wanted to, just get a shelf that has lighting in it, and then put most of the stuff, like put the stuff I want on display more on that shelf, and then put everything else on the other shelves, which is always possible. Um, I think that's it. I think that's really all I can say on this, on this space. Um, obviously this is not the permanent space when I, I do plan to move out of here soon, hopefully. Uh, and when I move out, I will make sure that whatever place I move into has space for a studio. Uh, I'm going to make sure that the next place I move into is probably like done. Like it, it's, that's it. It's not like I'm going to move into a place 
and then I'm gonna move out of that place in like four or five years. No, I'm gonna move into that place and that's it. I don't wanna move again. I'm tired of moving. I've moved two, three, four times in my life. Four times in my life. I've moved, basically I've helped my dad move stuff from one place to another twice. Uh, I moved when I was really young from Florida back to, actually no, I moved twice from Michigan to Florida and then Florida to Michigan. I helped my dad move once and I moved once with my mom. I'm tired of moving. I want to stay in the next place I'm at basically. Unless there's unless there's an actual legit need for me to move again, which I do plan to hopefully at some point in my life build my own home. That would be the only reason I want to move is if I find a place to build my own home and I can build my own home. Which will basically have an entire studio for me for YouTube stuff, which will be nice. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. There's not much more I can say. Uh, let me know if there's anything you guys think I should get for this whole area or any way you guys specifically want to see this whole thing sort of designed. Uh, I don't know. I can't really think of anything else. So yeah, that's me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay golden. Peace.